a lot, but when it comes to power, they don't seem to be sharing. They seem to have some kind of... capable of killing a PK commander. So they're back? The Night Runners? For real? <laughs> we shouldn't submit to PKs without a fight. What happened at the Bazaar sets the writing down. Shrooms? Blanch the asparagus? Sometimes I venture out at the street level just to look at shots and signs from before the fall. I don't know why, but they fascinate me. My name's Wash. Aiden. How noble of you, saving an enemy. What are you doing here? I'm afraid that's top secret. So you're a spy. Should I warn the locals about you? All right, I'll tell you. It's a secret, just not a military secret. I was supposed to meet a girl here, from the bazaar. Don't see anyone here. Looks like she stood you up. This wasn't a date. We wanted to leave the city. Get beyond the walls. Yeah, it's not that easy. We would find a way. Why do you want to leave? 
Chloe's had enough of there being shortages of everything at the bazaar, especially water. But the bazaar has water now. Chloe doesn't know that yet. She lives outside the bazaar. We just go to her and check. I will. And can I ask you a favor, to save time? I'll go to Chloe's place. Can you go to her friend Liz's? Chloe's always over there. She lives at 25 Wuthering Mews, third floor, above the old vegetarian restaurant. It's near the clinic. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Let me know over the radio when you get there. Infected made it inside. Looking for Chloe. What for? She's not here. Wash. Chloe's not here. She's not at home either. Aiden, she must be at Liz's. I don't know where else she could be. So you going somewhere? None of your business. Chloe's gone. Like, gone, gone. Got it? Tell Wash to just forget about her. Chloe's left without him. Left? Or about to leave with you, I gather. Maybe. But why leave? There's water again. Yesterday they were fighting over water. Tomorrow it'll be another thing. Blood's always flowing here. We've had enough. We want to try somewhere else. We, that is, you and Chloe. So what about Wash? Wash? He was just our ticket out, that's all. Now he can fuck off. There was nothing I could do, Chloe. Wash? 
Chloe. Wait, so that's Chloe? I'm a grunt. No one told me what was gonna happen. Please, don't leave without me. Let me go with you, the three of us. Liz won't agree. So convince her. Aiden, come on, say something, please. You've been outside, you know how things are beyond the walls. You won't make it outside the city anyway. Two, three people, doesn't matter. You don't know what you're walking into. We could stay here, Chloe. You've got water now, right? So the fuck what? I want to leave. So how will you get past the PK? We'll think of something. And how will you survive without UV lamps? You're right. This whole plan was stupid from the start. So you're saying you'll stay? I'll stay. But I don't want to see you anymore. What? You were a means to an end wash. If we're staying, well, the end. But, Chloe, it wasn't supposed to go down this way. Sorry. Damn you, Aiden. Thanks for the advice. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't wish him ill, really. I'd like to be alone now. Got a lot to process. Weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 
What's so interesting? What? Uh, <clears throat> never mind. <coughs> Wait, aren't you? Yes, I've seen you in action. You're not scared of the infected, are you? <coughs> Even when roaming the streets at night. Are you scared of them? Most people are. Basic survival instinct. Not everyone comes as close to the infected as you do. You must know a lot about them. That could be very useful. Useful how? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. The free people call me Mr. Z. I went into hiding to devote my life to researching the infected and keeping records of everything we can learn about them. It's something we owe to future generations. Interesting. Yes. We must learn everything we can about all these monstrosities. This will help prepare our society for future challenges. Tell me more about what you do. There are so many species and variations of infecteds, and I'm afraid there will be more. What do you mean? The THV gen mod used in chemical bombings triggered uncontrollable mutations in the infected DNA. <coughs> this spawned new types like screamers, suiciders, and goons, each more dangerous than the last. What do you need me for? To do my research, I need eyes in the field. But obviously, it's a dangerous job. Most of my people have gone missing. I've been watching you. With your experience, you could contribute greatly. Would you help me to confirm my findings so far? Well, happy to. Your work seems crucial. Great. Thank you. Certainly you've noticed what happens with infecteds after mutation. They become stronger, faster, and more agile. Have you encountered the type that can jump higher than others? That'd be a banshee. Yes, that's consistent with my research. What's interesting, they seem to be relatively weak, and if their attack misses, they usually retreat. I observed another infected type. It's very strange, quite different from the others. It prefers to avoid humans. I know how that sounds, but you must have seen something like that. Moreover, when retreating, it leaves tracks behind. Do you know which infected I'm referring to? It's a bolter, I believe. Yes, that tracks, so to speak. Thank you. The next one is a bit complicated. I've received reports about a type of infected that exhibits a bizarre behavior. It creates a toxic mist around other monsters, and some survivors believe that it even resurrects the dead, which is nonsense, obviously. It, does that ring any bells? Uh, you're talking about a revenant. That's the one I was talking about. My theory is that it evolved to develop a special organ that creates this toxic mist. Oh, it's incredible what the THV Gen Mod did to those creatures. Frightening and fascinating at the same time. And which type of infected would you say has the most explosive temper? Definitely a suicider. Suicider it is. Better stay as far away as possible from it. Well done. You really helped me. As a token of my appreciation, here's a weapon I crafted while I was still venturing in the field. I'm sure it will help you more than me. Oh, and check this out. I created this deck of cards a while back, featuring some of the most dangerous infecteds to help people know and identify the threats. Ah, uh, here's my favorite one. 
The goon. You can have it. Take care, Aiden. See you around. The lighting is wrong tonight. It's just not the... the right mood. <clears throat> Seeing things. bows, arrows, and spears, and they managed to survive. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're going to got no one to lead them. That's how you know you hit rock. Gave up on a third degree. Managed to do it. us that water hey i'm that pilgrim what's wrong it was you <laughs> great we got our ration today but maria here wants to use it all to wash her hair because i can't stand another fucking day like this just because you don't mind hair like a sheep overdue for shearing doesn't mean all i want is to water the plants maria what good will your shiny hair be if you starve to death it's gonna rain tonight. I'm sure of it. You'll use up the water and then it'll rain. Those plants don't need that much water anyway. It's your way of showing me you don't care about my needs. Hey, well, what if it doesn't rain? It will. I'm sure of it. How? When did you become the local weather girl? I can feel it in my bones. I guess we need to keep our emotions in check to make rational decisions. What's that supposed to mean? You're the one who started talking about feeling the rain in your bones. And it's obvious you would be happy living in a pigsty. Okay, ladies, I'll leave you to it.
Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. It's so good to have art back in our lives.
Ugh! 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 